screaming fans, standing ovations. Mariah Carey is used to that. Are you guys? This audience is different. These little fans are actually at summer camp, specifically Camp Mariah. Thank you, Camp Mariah. I've been wanting to see you guys forever. Mariah's followers worldwide are familiar with her music. She's a fantasy to some, a heartbreaker to others. A hero to many. But fans might not be used to seeing her like this, hanging out around a fire pit, making s'mores. A designer t-shirt and jeans and stiletto heels qualify as her camping gear. She's here celebrating 25 years of her camp, where every year, hundreds of lower-income city kids get a chance to experience a childhood rite of passage, summer sleepaway. What do you see when you walked in that room and looked at the faces? Well, it was afterwards when we, we all came out here and I met a couple of the kids and they said that they wouldn't be who they were if it hadn't been for the camp. That's pretty mind-blowing. 25 years ago, uh, why a camp? Why did you want a camp? When I was growing up, I went to I went to a publicly funded camp. I had some difficult experiences with, okay. and I just thought, you know what? Kids should be able to go to a camp where they feel they feel safe, hmm. and they feel like they can learn something. And this is a career awareness camp. <laughs> You might not realize it, but you've probably seen Camp Mariah before. It was featured in her iconic video for Always Be My Baby. Why that video? Why did you shoot it here? Um, I just thought it'd be, it'd be something sweet. I think there's a, like a, um, an innocence to that song, yeah. and um, I wanted it to feel um, you know, just, just free and easy and like summertime when you meet you know, your first, that first little crush that you have. Camp Mariah sits about 70 miles north of New York City. Here, many of these kids get their first taste of life in the wilderness. We are at Camp Mariah, uh, which uh, opened in 1994. Fatima Sharma is executive director of the Fresh Air Fund, the nonprofit organization which runs six camps for underprivileged kids, including Camp Mariah. Over the last 25 years, more than 3,000 kids have spent their summers here. She's visited our young people. She's come to our benefits. Um, she's been a member of our board. Um, this is not just a name. For three and a half weeks, they take robotics and coding classes. They study dance and fashion. They also get the typical summer camp stuff, too. Gregory is a Camp Mariah graduate, back this year as a counselor and instructor. When I first came, I was a troublemaker. My camp changed me, it made me calm down, get rid of all the violence in the city. He says learning to swim changed his world. After I complete swim, I said, nothing's impossible for me. That was one of the hardest things for me to do. He's now the legacy of this place. He's a 19-year-old college student studying robotics and mechanical engineering and inspiring the next generation. Oh, I didn't see that. As the day ends, Gregory and the kids head down to a special anniversary dinner with Mariah and her special surprise guests. <laughs> Groundbreaking ballet dancer Misty Copeland, a Mariah Carey super fan. I wouldn't be a ballerina if it weren't for her music, and it sounds so crazy. ABC cameras were with Misty 20 years ago when she was an up and coming teenage ballerina, choreographing to her favorite Mariah song, Looking In being biracial and I just saw myself through her and the fact that she was a successful black woman at a certain point you know she just really took hold of her career and had her own voice Misty hosted an impromptu dance party with the kids including Mariah's twins Rock and Rose but Mariah herself was stranded an hour away the sprinter that we're in has stopped her van broke down on the way. Well, we're trying to get there, guys. We're waiting for the other car to come so we can get up to the camp. The music legend stopped by a local corner store and surprised a fan inside. There were street shout outs. They're waiting. Loves you. Oh, thank you, love, I love you too. And a sidewalk serenade. Why are you so obsessed with me? I don't even know how they did. Boy, I want to know. And after hours of delay and a roadside rescue, 
she finally arrived. The kids presented Mariah with an anniversary cake, and then it was outside for campfire s'mores. Oh, mine is on fire. I like I'm burnt. I'm <laughs> always late. People probably were like, oh, here she is diving out. My publicist was saying they were they were exploring helicopters, like, okay, what are we gonna do? Because it's like, you know, I couldn't not be here. You were considering heli helicoptering into camp. Why not? When you started though, did you think you'd make it five years, ten years? Did did you have that kind of foresight? When I really put my mind to it, I'm like, this is for life. I'm not doing this just for laughs. You know what I mean? This is, we're doing something for real. That passion shows in her work. One sweet day. Her single with Boys to Men, One Sweet Day, held a legendary chart-topping record for nearly as long as her camp has been around. Gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride. But she graciously ceded her title to Little Nas X and his Old Town Road, which beat her record in July. I already congratulated him and passed the torch. And, um, you know, One Sweet Day is a record and a song that means a lot to me. And obviously, Boys to Men and myself did, did the record together. I think that's why the song stayed um, at the top song of all time for a very long time. And now we have Old Town Road, so that's great. Though this place is called Camp Mariah, don't expect to see Mariah camping anywhere, ever. Necessarily consider yourself outdoorsy. You know, with the right bug repellent, hair and makeup, and ensemble, I could be outdoorsy in a photo. <laughs> <laughs> but she wants the kids to keep coming and experiencing life in a way they never have before. I would just tell them, like, there's nothing too big for them to accomplish. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.